Uh, hello, uh, welcome to another installment of um, Boko DB Etuda. Um, today I will show you guys how to uh, install X-Wing um, fonts, which is uh, basically a file that goes along with X-Wing X7. And basically, uh, that's uh, it, it's in one of my previous uh, uh, um, videos. Um, so I'm just going to take you guys through uh, installing X-Wing font. So uh, pretty much you just you open a menu browser, you type in um, X-Men fonts, and uh, I prefer to go to um, to Salesforce, as I said before. Um, <coughs> and when you get to this page, it's gonna uh, basically just it's gonna be right in front of you. Um, just a uh, few select. Um, I'm having difficulty with with uh, um, so I'm just gonna open up. Page on Mozilla. <coughs> so when you uh, get to this page, you just download it. Click on that, and then you just click on that setup that yes, I already have mine installed. Uh, actually, my mine's downloaded. So uh, now I'm going to take you guys through the installation. Uh, so what you do is you uh, you just uh, as you would any soft any other software, just double click the uh, bit.exe. Um, file and then you uh, you just go to the installation steps and it's gonna on this on this on this uh, page actually here uh, so basically because I'd already done it uh, before like if you do it the first time it's gonna it's gonna stop you and, and tell you that hey you already have X Wing installed in this directory uh, do you want to uh, you know do you want to install this one in this directory also you can you should click yes that's what I did um, and then on this page, uh, you just yeah, you just uh, make you should just make sure to go for all the fonts. Uh, like click all the fonts. Like I'm not I'm not sure what what they all do, but um, like I click I click all of them. Um, again, the size might be uh, you, you might need to be you might need to look at and take that take those into consideration. But for me, I just personally chose to click all of them, and then just go just uh, accept that and. Uh, and basically go to and, and complete the install and then once you're done again this is a uh, this is a uh, this is a uh, this this is a software x Men font is supposed to go along with x Men. again it basically the reason why you have those two other you know uh, you know the reason why you have those two combined um, or those you, you have those two installation on your on your system is because you want to have the best possible um, display um, you know when you're working um, external display. I mean, when you when you when you're trying to basically transfer um, the uh, one one environment and and render it, you know, to uh, you know the, to the way that it's supposed to the way that it's supposed to uh, be rendered. So again, as, as I showed you before, uh, for the of the software uh, installation for me, I had to basically. You know, I use uh, uh, I use X Men uh, to be able to render my uh, my my software uh, my the, the software installation uh, steps, and pretty much uh, you know again uh, these two these two uh, softwares will come in handy X Men and X Men fonts definitely do have them on uh, on your system at the same time. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys next time.